Uh, it was when I first went to college, like after I graduated. I'd heard about it, but never really seen it being around Vegas. It's kind of odd. But uh, some teammates were like, hey, let's go watch this fighting kind of thing. And I think the first fight I actually went to, uh, it was our watch, was uh, Randy Couture and Tito Ortiz. Cool. Now, what was your reaction to it? Did I was like, man, that stuff looked like fun. But I mean, I wasn't like a fighter at all as far as, you know, I just wrestled. But um, I really enjoyed wrestling and the, the mental aspect of that. And uh, after I graduated college, it was just kind of the next step. I started with some jiu-jitsu, and then that carried over into fighting. Dude, there's there's so much sacrifice with this sport. Like every like seems like every week uh, I got a friend calling, hey, there's a party, or hey, we're doing this, and it's like, sorry guys, I'm training, you know. And it's I got an awesome bunch of friends that they understand, you know what I mean? They're, they show up to every fight and stuff like that. But dude, there's so much sacrifice. Like I missed out like on opportunities with say with certain jobs. You know I mean, who knows what I could have been doing if I, I originally wanted to go to med school, but then I started fighting. I was like, I can't take six years off. And, and, you know, I can't come back and fight, but I can always go to school. So, uh, you know, so I pass up, you know, like, say, career opportunities to try and chase this dream. You know, I pass up, you know, potential girlfriends that didn't understand the lifestyle or just potential parties, just having a good time. But it's it's going to pay off. I know it will. Oh, dude, it's, I don't know if Michael admit to this, but I have one of the coaches slap me as hard as I can. And it's like, that sets the switch off. You know what I mean? It's like you're getting, when you're getting Vaseline put on, that's the point of no return. There's no, hey coach, I don't want to do this, or what am I doing here kind of thing. That's the point of no return, and then I get the crap slapped out of me, and it's, dude, it's, the switch is on. It's, you get hit once, and it's like you just, you're in go mode. So I take care of that right before I set the game. I, to some extent, yes, because you know, you got your, your bar, your barroom fought fighters that always just drink beer and talk trash, but I try to, you know, like if you look at a lot of the, the upper level guys, you know, we all have high level college degrees, you know what I mean? We're smart individuals, we just do this because we really enjoy it, you know what I mean? I've got my undergrad back on my bachelor's in biology with a minor in chemistry, now I'm working on my master's in education, so it's like, we're not dumb people, we don't just enjoy the fight because it's the only thing we can do. I mean, I could, you know, I could be a chemist right now or, you know, be working for Anheuser-Busch as a biologist, but instead I chose the fighting path, and it's, it's not because I'm dumb or enjoy getting punched in the face, it's, it's just something that you either want to do or you don't. If it wasn't for my mother teaching me how to tap dance, this is kind of kind of funny. I would not be the athlete I was. I grew up not having any rhythm, any coordination, but then she just kept pushing me into dance, pushing me into tap dance, and finally it just clicked. And from then on, I've just been an athlete. So, thanks, mom.